What's up YouTube, Technology Brat, another unboxing. Check it out guys, OtterBox again coming through. Uh, last time it was the OtterBox Defender for the iPhone 4. And uh, judging from the size of this box, it's definitely not an iPad case, so that can mean only one thing. OtterBox Commuter for the iPhone 4. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. And there it is. OtterBox Commuter Series for the iPhone 4. What else was in there? There's something else in there. Check that out. Little OtterBox sticker there as well. And uh, OtterBox, we've got technology covered. Cool thing there. Little sticker added bonus. And uh, the new OtterBox packaging, which uh, I really like. I think it's uh, you know different, definitely sharp looking. Um, something... Uh, that I guess in the end it doesn't really matter. I always like nice packaging. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. We're gonna go ahead and put it on the phone just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, you know, as usual, I like to do kind of a, an unboxing and preview for you guys, and then do a full review later on. Um, so let's go ahead and pull this out. And I should know how to open this from the uh, Defender, but of course I don't. So there we go. Oh, we got. We got a. Pull this out of here. Okay, so that's out of there. And nothing else in there. You can see the packaging. There's some more stuff inside. Looks like some sort of uh, instructions. Um, you know, just some features about the case on the back there. You guys want to read that. Hey, this is HD. You can go ahead and pause it, read it. Whatever you want to do. There you go. So let's move on. Here is the case itself. Let's get into what all is inside their little, I guess we're gonna call it a goodie bag. I guess we need to take off the plastic shell first. Let's go ahead and take that off. Here's the silicone. And let's see what's inside here. And this should be different because we, when we unbox the Defender, of course, that comes with a built-in screen protector. So I'm curious to see if they went ahead and, yep, they definitely did include a screen protector as well. And there is no cutout for your front-facing camera, um, but that may not be an issue since it's a crystal clear screen shield. You've got a squeegee in here, cleaning cloth instructions, and a screen shield. So. That's always cool, man. I just, I appreciate it so much whenever case makers, they put these screen shields in it. I was really quite upset whenever uh, I got my last few spec cases and there was no screen shields in there. Um, but what are you going to do? You know, some case, some companies are still going to give that extra stuff to you guys. Some aren't. OtterBox, you guys did it. So thank you guys so much. Okay, on to the OtterBox commuter. It is a soft silicone inside. As you can see here, you know, super soft silicone, and then also an outer, harder outer shell. You can see it's a little bit bendable, but it's a uh, pretty hard plastic. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab the iPhone 4, and uh, I am rocking the uh, Ghost Armor, which if you guys aren't familiar with that, I've got uh, a beastly 40-minute video up about the installation for this. Uh, and this is the full body now, so we'll see if it fits. I haven't had any issues yet. Uh, I've put it on this uh, Spec Candy Shell here. Pretty tight fitting case. No issues. Ghost Armor. Candy Shell worked great. Um, so let's go ahead and put it in the OtterBox Commuter Series. And right off, uh, well first of all, that fits perfect. There's no issues at all. And uh, we'll see once we get this hard case on here. The silicone is no, no problem at all. So let's go ahead and get that, get all our ports plugged in, and then let's get the shell on. Now I never had the commuter series uh, for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, so I was really anxious to get this and sort of uh, try it and see what I thought about it, because I had the commuter TL, um, and I really, really enjoy the commuter TL. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that they bring that, or not kind of hoping, I'm definitely hoping that they bring that to the iPhone 4. Although they haven't released any news or press releases or anything like that about that particular case. So I'm not sure if they're planning on that or not. Um, if you guys are out there listening, you know, I definitely want to, I don't know about uh, everybody else, but 
I know I definitely do. And it looks like I'm having a few issues here getting this on. So, maybe because we've got that full body on, maybe because I just don't know what the heck I'm doing here. Because it seems to be silicone issues. Hang on. Can't possibly be that full body. I can't make that big of an impact, can it? Just don't think it's going to make the case that much thicker, but maybe it is. Okay, we got the top and bottom on. Just running into an issue over here on this side. It's just not wanting to go on. And I'm guessing, guys, that this Ghost Armor full body is making it a little bit too fat. Let me try and put it on this side first. There we go. It's just not fitting over there. I apologize, guys. I really shouldn't be trying to do some of these installs straight on camera with some of these other, you know, more thicker, more thicker. Is, is that even proper English? Uh, with some of these more thick um, screen shields. And I really didn't think the Ghost Armor was all that thick. It was definitely thinner than the Zag. But I am so far running into issues getting this on. But maybe I didn't have the silicone on there exactly right. So let's give this another shot. I'm going to try to put this on first. This is the side I was having issues with. Now well, let's try to pull it up and over. There we go. Yeah, see, it's, it's going to fit. Just a matter of getting it on there right, I think. Running into a bit of a problem. And we almost got it completely on here. <laughs> it seems like no matter what the last part I get on, I can't get it exactly on properly. It's a little weird. Never had these kind of issues before. But then again, I've never had the commuter before either. There it goes. There we go, now we got it on there. And uh, maybe that was just a little bit more difficult than it was supposed to be. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably because of the ghost armor. Um, but you can see right there, guys, it's a nice look for the front earphone. Nice black frame all the way around the case. Got a nice lay on the table lip. There you can see there, we'll get up close for you. Focus. And. Uh, maybe. So there you go. Now, the nice thing about OtterBox always is almost everything is always covered. So you got your top, your, your noise cancellation mic is open. 3.5 millimeter head jack is closed. Your sleep awake button is covered. Over here, your volume button's covered. Your uh, vibrate switch is open. Port on the bottom is covered. Pull, you can pull the flap out for your 30 pin connector. Then you got your two holes there. This side is completely covered. And on the back, you have your cutout for your uh, camera and LED flash, and then also for your Apple logo. Now this is completely open in here and the Apple logo guys So just keep that in mind if you're gonna rock this case That this is open your, your Apple logo is gonna be susceptible to getting scratched uh, Unless you've got some other sort of protection right now protected by that ghost armor full body I know I'm good to go in there. My Apple logo is fine. The case fits fine. Just perfect you saw I did have a little bit of problems of installing it, but it's probably just because I didn't look at uh, any instructions to see the proper way to do it. 
uh, which way it needed to go on first. Um, but it, you can see it, it does fit perfect. It fits just fine. There's nothing, uh, you know, sticking out way further than it should. Uh, maybe just a little bit on top here. Um, but even with the ghost armor full body, it does work. It does fit. It does look good. Tell you what, it feels nice. It feels protective. I know if I drop it, I'm going to be okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sleep wake button is pretty good. Um, or it's not pretty good. It works great. You can feel it. Click it. Nice and responsive. Volume buttons. I'm sure these are good. And uh, anyway, guys, I don't want to get into a review about this, but I uh, just wanted to get you a quick uh, unboxing, quick preview, show you what it looked like on the phone. There it is, the OtterBox commuter for the iPhone 4. Uh, just came out recently. I believe it's $34.99 at uh, otterbox.com. Uh, so check them out, guys, and uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stick around. We got uh, some other giveaways going on. We got a lot more videos coming. Uh, you guys are awesome. I want to thank everybody for their support, and um, that's it, guys. Take it easy. Twitter.com slash technologybrat, technologybrat.com. Follow me. Um, you know, sometimes we do giveaways on there. I gave away some cases last week. Um, so follow me, get in all that good stuff and, um, have a good night guys.